Good afternoon guys and welcome to Garforth Golf Club, the first hole, 315 yards. We're going to be playing off the whites today with the man, the myth, Dave. Welcome back Dave. How are you doing? Very good, yourself? Welcome to, I'm alright, welcome to Garforth mate. So today guys what we're going to do is I'm going to be carrying for Dave and over the next 18 weeks, because we're going to play 18 holes, we're going to be out here. We've got a glorious day in October. Dave's all fired up with the trolley. And I'm going to carry for Dave around here, so we're going to be talking about what Dave goes through, how his strategy is, what kind of shots he plays or shouldn't play. And we'll see if that's something that's costing Dave shots on a round of golf. So Dave, current handicap? Is 12.6 world handicap. So 12.6 world handicap at the moment for Dave. He's come down a bit recently, so we're going to see if we can save him a few shots over the next 18 holes. And we're going to get straight in on the first. So Dave, first hole, like we said, 318, uh, 318, 315 yards, stroke index 8, normal club. I normally take a driver, but it's only a short par 4, so what's your opinion? Should I be taking driver? There's about, I don't know, 180 to play that bunker, that first bunker. So Dave normally takes driver, it's a short drivable par 4 and it's 180 to carry these bunkers. So Dave's saying should he hit the driver? The answer on this one is yes, so Dave should be hitting the club that's going to get him past those bunkers and then give him the shortest shot into the green. So Dave fired away, so normal shot shape at the moment, Dave is what? Um, it all depends how well it is on day. I like to say it was shape, straight. The really bad shot is that old low hook, but that won't come out as much as it normally as it used to do. Okay, so, so normal at the moment is straight, so your line is where? Straight between the bunkers? Yeah. Okay, so Dave's in the middle of the tee box here. Let's get him off to a good start, hopefully. So a little bit of that hooky one, it has missed the bunker, but straight away there we've seen something for Dave, or I've seen something for Dave. His alignment there was aimed up to the right and then he's been able, well, it's encouraged him to hit that hook. And I hit it right off the toe. Right off the toe, let's have a look. So as we've walked down, we've just gone past the nine, so we've had a look at that pin, so we know that's in the middle of the green, so coming into the round, as we get in there, we're already looking for things that we need to know for the later on in the round. So Dave's missed the bunkers there, it has come down the left-hand side, and he has now a good shot, although it wasn't his finest shot. It's opened up the green, Chris. It's opened up the green, and he's got one in there. So on this hole, Dave was going to go straight through the bunkers, Again, he could potentially run out here, but it also brings into that bunker. So Dave's got to think maybe playing left again opens it up. It's easier for him to get up to the edge of that green from those trees potentially than it is from the bunker. So Dave, how far have we got? We've got 147. 147. The fans will be asking, where are the iron covers? Well, I'm getting ready for winter and I don't want to be carrying iron covers because they keep coming off. And that's my carry bag, so I'll be thinking about reducing it down to half a, half a set. Half something. a set. No iron cubs for the winter. Controversial. Comment below. So, 147 yards. Was it into the breeze? Yeah. And again, let's first of all look at Dave's lie. So, if I get down a little bit behind the cam, we can see the ball's above his feet there. So, that's going to encourage it to go a little bit left. So, that might get him pulling it a little bit again, a little bit more distance. So, club normally, Dave? A 7 iron, okay. So we're going to go here off that lie. We're going to go with an 8 iron. Again, if we get a little bit of a flyer, I can see that there's trees long and left. If Dave does pull it a little bit, that could get us into the danger. So, but all the trouble's front right. So All the trouble's front right. But luckily, this lie is going to be encouraging the ball to go a little bit left. So we're going to go straight to the flag here with our alignment. That should move off to the left with a normal motion famous last words we're gonna get some great angles today from behind the camera so a little bit down the grip dave because of the lights above your feet good and that's a great strike getting that little bit of grip down there and that has snuck just in front of the green on the fringe, so again a great strike. 
But that has given us the easiest putt from that Y. So Dave has just said to me that it's way short. Well, it is. We've got around about a 60 foot putt here, but we can see the flag is right at the back. And we can see if I zoom in there, if we went long, it falls off and it's a very difficult short-sided shot that we don't want on the first hole. So Dave here, the key thing obviously is distance. Um, I'm going to hope we're going to give it a good green read, but it's all about the distance here. Again, tour average from here is saying that you're more likely to three put than you are two put. But if it was long, it'd be also the same. So where have you got this one, Dave? I've got this one turning um, left to right. So left to right two foot two foot so two foot outside the left i will get up to the hole he's going to go through his routine now with practice swings but as you get up here we can see if you are just down there it's a little bit thicker rough around the edge a little bit better behind and it's very difficult to get that ball to stop on here so let's have a look at dave so practice swings much better posture after his session not long ago. Oh, leaves coming into play at this time of year. It's a good pull. So again, pretty good in there to five feet. So a little bit of work to be done. Not even be four feet. I trust Dave to hold that. There is work to be done, Chris, but you said to me, 10%. That's it, and we're talking, Dave, saying there, there is a little bit of work to be done, but he says 10%, and that would be in that, from that distance, from that line. So not an easy putt to start with. But Dave's going to give this now full attention again, line this up, go through his routine. And he got the green read pretty good. It did move left to right a little bit more pace, and it would have stayed on line. Little bit pacey, Dave. Didn't take the break. Just, no. just over a foot past. See, do you think that's pacey? I think a foot past about right. Was, no? Yeah, I'd say the pace. Dave's arguing now. It's all kicking off on the first hole. Right. So again, guys, stroke index a first hole of the day. Dave would be getting a shot on there. So we've started off as we would expect. Unfortunately, with a bogey on that occasion, but hitting a seven iron might have got Dave up here a little bit closer, but it also might have brought in more trouble. So. Yeah, the problem is both sides of the green, you've got a fair old drop and it's, it's quite a difficult chip. Cer certainly is when, with that flag position, it's certainly a very difficult chip from the right hand side. Yeah, so like Dave said, if we miss there to the right, very difficult up and down. It's not something that, again, fills everyone with confidence here. So off with the five guys. Look out next week. We'll be on to the second hole over here. Par five. The first par five of the day. Can we get a shot back and be on the move?